I would like the, the music to be significant. I would like the artist to have a, um, you know, some kind of a context. Where do you fit in the universe of, not, not a genre specific thing, but who, who, if I can relate to so-and-so, can I relate to you? Like David Serby, the guy I was just talking about, he said, well, you know, you know, he's in the tradition of Buck Owens and Dave Alvin. You know, I said, okay, Dave Alvin, I get it. It's a Roots Americana thing with a country overtone. You know, it, it gives people a point of reference, and that's helpful. Uh, some shy away from that. They don't want to be pegged as, you know, a certain genre of music. I, I deal with an artist who said, here, I, I don't want you to call me a blues related artist. I don't want you to call me a singer songwriter. Well, the the music is blues tinged and he does write all the songs and sing them. So by some, you could say that. And I understand why he's, what he's saying. If you say singer songwriter, you get a picture of Jackson Brown in your head. And if you say blues, you get a picture of, you know, a guy with a floppy hat and a feather in it playing 12 bar blues. So I understand he didn't want to be pigeonholed. So I just, I just, in the promotional piece I wrote about him, I just said, Ron Franklin says, don't call me blues, and, you know, I don't want to be called a singer-songwriter. Ron, who are we to argue with your wisdom? By saying that, I said it without saying it. I said it, I unsaid it. We, we used this years ago with, uh, at Warner Brothers with um, when the Talking Heads and the Dead Boys and the Ramones came out. We, we, had, a, we had a campaign that said, don't call it punk. I guess it was by saying, don't call it punk, we kind of called it punk. Mm -hmm. You can call it whatever you want, but, you know, you need some kind of touchstone. You've got to have a shortcut for people to have just some idea what it, how they can relate to it, on what basis they can relate to it.